the 2022 NFL Draft. We have seven teams with multiple first round draft picks. Third overall pick, Houston Texans. I'm fascinated to see what you do with that third pick. Hello? Derek, we're going to turn the pick in here in a few minutes. We're going to make you a Houston Texan. Yes, sir. Hey, Derek, you fit in when you came through here, man. You were our guy. How about going to the number one receiver every time? Sound good? Sound good to me. Welcome to, to our team. We're pretty pumped up. We're going to do a, a lot of good things, all right? Yes, sir. The Houston Texans select Derek Stingley Jr., defensive back, LSU. We've got another draft choice. It's the Houston Texans' second of the night. The 15th pick. The Houston Texans select Kenyon Nicosario. We're going to turn to picking. We're going to make you a Houston Texan. Kenyon Green. You can definitely tell just from being around the people that uh, there's an upward trend here. How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you. What's up, bro? What's up? How you doing, man? Congratulations. How you doing, man? Congratulations. Congratulations. I look forward to it. What's up, there? Congratulations, man. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, where you, now, where you from? You from? Oh, so you from Louisiana. Yeah. So you close. Yeah. So they're going to be at all the games, huh? Yeah. That's what's up, man. Okay, enjoy this experience. Yeah, sure. Anything you need, I'll be here, man. So, congratulations again. Appreciate it. Here he is. What's up, man? Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. You know, in Derek's case, experienced player, played against a lot of good people at LSU. I was productive with his opportunities, especially as a freshman. It is intercepted. Derek Stingley Jr. And that is intercepted by Stingley has the attributes and the physical skills that go into play in that position. So hopefully we can maximize them and bring the best out of them. Diving pick. Derek Stingley made the pick. You always see me giving effort. It's like every single play is a battle on the field. You got your individual battles between the person that you're going against. You got play calls that, that go back to them, but then we got to execute it out there on the field. Just as long as everybody doing what they got to do, then you should win. It's always, always who, who's doing it a little bit better. So I just can't wait to get to work. Congrats, family. Appreciate it. Hey, look, I look forward to learning a lot from you, bro. Welcome to the club. Time to get to work, y'all. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. We're going to get it. Work, show. We're going to get it, man. Well, I, I'm glad to be part of the team, man. Um, I appreciate you answering so we can get a little chat in. <laughs> Yeah, all right, bet. All right, I, I just been, I've been hearing that a lot. That's a good man to learn from, bro. This program definitely gonna be, gonna be turned around, man. You in good hands. You ever need something, bro? We all want to call away. Right. All right, sound good, man. And I don't have to get acclimated to like no new food places. I know all the food places here. Yeah. Bless. Very excited. I'm staying home. Um, I'm gonna give everything I got to this city. The least I can do, you know, go get everything I have. Start, you know, where I grew up at and help that community out. When you look at the A&M offense, you know, they probably run the football as much as anybody in the SEC. I mean, Jimbo does a great job in terms of the way that they set up their run game. So he had some position versatility, he played left tackle, he played inside, has a good playing style, has a good mentality, he plays with a certain level of toughness, I and mean, he has good size for the position. I mean, you're going to need some people and some presence on the inside, so hopefully he'll be an asset in that area and can, can help us. Getting a dog, somebody out there that's going to finish, you know, physical, you know, smart player, you're going to get somebody that's going to give you everything they have, you know, he's going to fight for his teammates. Texans on the clock and the pick might be in or it might be a report on the pick. The Texans are going to stay here at the 37th pick and select another one from the state of Texas. Jalen, what's happening, brother? How you doing? You're right around the corner. Yeah, you want to sprint here. All right, we're, uh, we're on the clock. We're going to make you a Houston Texan. So we're going to turn a pick in here in a little bit. And uh, you can walk to the stadium if you want to. So, or you can run. 
all over the place is Jalen Petrie. This guy is everywhere out of Stafford, Texas. Active, instinctive, good tackler, finds the ball, but really good playing style. I'd say kind of the heartbeat of their program. So from where the program started to where they were here at the end of the year, I would say he was certainly a big part of that. I mean, you see that energy, you see that emotion, you see that investment. We're excited about you know what he potentially could bring to our team. Staying home. Staying home, we got a couple of our Houston guys staying at home, and it's going to be good. We're pumped up. We'll talk late on. It's going to be great. You know, Coach Levy Smith is a, a defensive guru. He knows what he's talking about. And, you know, I just look to learn as much as I can from him and, and to grow as a player. With the 44th pick, the Houston Texans select John Mechie. Touchdown, Mechie. First down and more. John Mechie. Mechie says, OK, throw it to me. Four picks already in this draft for the Houston Texans. John Mechie is a Houston Texan. I was just happy. I didn't really have many words for it, but I was just happy. Um, I was excited. Um, had a great time on the way to Houston, and I'm just uh, extremely excited to get there. The Texans have traded up, and the pick is in. With the 75th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Christian Harris. Linebacker, Alabama. Look, we got one stop shop between you and your buddy Mechie. That's it. Congratulations and uh, look forward to seeing you. Lovey's right here. He's going to say hello to you, okay? Appreciate you for real. He's crying because he's so thrilled. Christian, how about it, man? All I need is opportunity, man. No, I understand. Man, what I'm trying to dominate, man. You're going to fit in perfectly here. Come <laughs> <laughs> The weekend in and of itself is very emotional. There's a lot of ups and downs. I'd say there's certain expectations that are placed on these players. They read so much, they hear so much about where they're gonna get drafted, and then if they're not drafted, maybe according to where the experts say, or something happened. So sometimes it's more of a sigh of relief, like, all right, I'm finally drafted, I know where I'm headed. Excited, speechless. Um, I was really just sitting there, I mean, obviously with my family, and I mean, I just saw that call, and I mean, instantly I started crying. I'm very excited. I, I love the defense that they have. So, I mean, even thinking about John Messi too as well, um, it's Derek's thing, like being able to play with those guys on the same team is, is definitely exciting for me, so. A lot of sources coming in saying the Texans, they're gonna get a running back. Pierce wide open to the end zone. Pierce, he's going. Touchdown, Florida. We're gonna turn a pick in. We're gonna make you a Houston Texan. Yo, hey, son. <laughs> hey, it's your boy DP. Hey, the newest running back. We coming to H-Town. Hey, I'm here for I'm here for a good time and a long time. You feel me? Hey, let's go, babe. I'm ready to work. Appreciate everybody. Let's get the work in, man. Let's go. It's it's funny when you look at a player's personality. So how they are off the field, and then you kind of see how, they, how are they on the field. Sometimes there's there's a difference. You know, maybe soft spoken, but they play a certain way. I would say in his case, I mean, the energy that he brings off the field, he brings the same energy to the field. He's got a lot of juice, he's got a lot of energy, he's got a lot of fight. His competitiveness, his toughness that comes off the tape, and then it comes off when you have an interaction with him as well. Man, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you, God, because I was so nervous yesterday. Like, yesterday I was so nervous, man. But today, you know, I was off the board early, so, you know, it's just, it's just a blessing. You know, I'm stoked, man. I'm just ready to play football and put some pads on, man. The Texans are going to be rolling with Thomas Booker, the yeah. defensive tackle out of Stanford. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was actually sitting, trying to get some food in between, you know, watching the rounds and everything. And then I get a call from Houston, um, and my face just lit up entirely. You know, this is something that I've dreamed about since I was in middle school. You know, so this has been, you know, years and not a decade in the making. You know, so I'm so excited to get down to Houston and help the team out, become a contributor any way I can. His skill set is conducive to our front and our system. So I think he was a player that, you know, we felt fit kind of how we're playing defensively. Their system defensively at Stanford is probably a little bit different than the system that we're going to run. And that's okay. I'd say that happens in a lot of cases. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It just means trying to identify players that have the right attributes that fit what we're trying to do and what we're going to ask them to do. The Texans take the tight end, Tegan Quitriano. We're on the clock. We're going to make you a Houston Texan, so congratulations. Yeah! Getting that call, being around my family, and just enjoying that experience was absolutely amazing. I'm just excited. I'm excited to be in Houston and be a Texan and uh, get to work. Good playing style, I'd say, kind of like some of the guys that we talked about, play with a certain level of toughness, a certain level of grit, and a certain level of, I would say, power. So if we want to be a tough physical team, then you know our responsibility is to try to identify and add tough physical players. 
Houston Texans, select Austin Deculus, LSU. You've had a really good career, man. Four years start in the SEC. I mean, I, like that's not easy to do. So, you've been a good player. The fact that I was able just to come back to my home state and being able to represent for that organization, it's like, it's in disbelief, it's surreal. Really durable, obviously, when you play and start as many games as you did, speaks to your availability. Has a good playing style, so a big body. Uh, he's had a lot of experience, you know, playing mostly on the right side. So whether or not he has some position versatility, whether that's right to left or maybe potentially inside, you know, we'll get a better idea, you know, once he arrives on campus here. You know, as we've talked about over the last few days, I think we're making some progress, uh, continue to build the team here for the 2022 season. We've added good players to our team who are good peoples that we think are going to help continue to build our program out. And we're all excited, but the reality is there's a lot of work, and it's going to be about how hard we work, how well we work, and what we do when we're ultimately on the field. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.